Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd. Our readings today are taken from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John, and they show us that although our faith journey will not be easy, our belief in Jesus will lead us to salvation. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up, and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands on the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the guards stationed outside the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests had heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm today is, The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name 
of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives in the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How wonderful it is to be in God's arms, to know of his mercy and might, to know that we're loved and to love in return let us live as a child of might. Let us now bring our cares and concerns to the Lord. And please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, invited to share in the joy of Easter, that we may bear witness to the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders and medical professionals, that they may work together to lead us to a better and safer future, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by this pandemic, whether spiritually, logistically, or financially, that they may find the resources to meet their needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in need of physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. And we ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Loving and merciful Father, we thank you for the gift of life, May we follow the example of your Son, who is the light of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.